Pretty sure my belt. Two boys are right. Our pillow is sturdy. And the biggest villain, the, the biggest, I can't read, the biggest villain of Black YouTube. I know this is Fredo. I don't know who you, uh, this guy in the middle looks familiar. I don't know. They both look familiar, actually. I don't know who they are. Shout out to do right here, though. I'm not subscribed to them. Well, yes, I am. Tweeting. Fuck all the videos. There's one thing that us viewers have in common a favorite content creator, someone who kept you glued to the screen due to so was was was, was that my nigga? You know I said I was my favorite YouTuber back in the day, but Fredo was up there too, though. Enjoyment and that you came home from school looking forward to watch. But what happens when your favorite content creator is committed? I used to watch him too, or is a bad person overall, leading to the community labeling them as a villain. It's far gone, these are the biggest villains of black YouTube. Before everything went downhill for EDP 445, his reputation was almost flawless. Many people just wrote him off as a passionate Eagles fan with an insane gooning problem. I know, yeah, I know this. I don't know who he's, I've heard of him. I think he like talks to like little kids or something. But I never knew what he did like content lines. I mean, just look at this title. One video who will go on a rant talking about how bad the Eagles played. And the okay, so he just made football content. Would be considered a sport. Well, Second never mind. It was an unhealthy medium, but he was still virtually loved by many until this infamous moment. In April of 2021, he was caught trying to meet up with a minor for what he called a cupcake. If you want this to go well, I recommend you have a talk with us, okay? Okay, cool. And so what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was uh, coming out here to- Glasses off. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Since then, he's been terminated from YouTube, which forced There's him to get no a job. Way. And actually got caught for doing the same thing in 2023, where he threatened to seriously hurt the girl. And like I mentioned, in no the video, fucking way, kid. this grown ass male shot me the kid. Yeah, I, I never knew. Like I heard shit, but I didn't. I don't be into too much of drama, so I don't even know, bro. But that's crazy. <laughs> YouTube channels to evade his ban, with YouTube turning a blind eye to his actions. And throughout these past few years, he continues to play victim, saying he was set up by the predator catchers, or blames mental health instead of owning up to his mistakes. How the fuck you set up? I'm gonna get myself banned watching this video, cause how? How, nigga? Like, come on, what kind of fuck are you shot boy? I ain't never no bullshit like that. When you hear someone say black YouTube, many creators come to mind. Mainly the wholesome, well-regarded ones like Corey Kenshin, Berlizzi, and Caleb City. Never watched neither of these niggas. I'm black. You know what I'm, I'm black. I got dreads. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular nigga. I watch like 2K content, basketball content. I be watching vloggers. This nigga, I don't even know. I know he's a gamer, but I don't know what games. He be playing like, the games he, wa he, he make content on, like, I feel like regular black people don't watch it if i ask my IRL niggas or my 2k niggas they do not watch this thing but he got motion i don't know who this is i watch him he's funny who make very marketable content however king sid and his hyper sexualized content is i watch king sid another side of the same coin on the surface it looks to be sid's own variation of jubilee's content until you click the video i got something to say real sh i feel like you can see me the fuck <laughs> that shit's wild, bro. That shit is wild. Let's be honest. That's wild. Like, whose daughter is that? And now that's your sister on the on really Skyward channel talking about sex and shit. Like, come on. You gotta do better. You gotta do better, Shuddy. So, I'm definitely smashing. I want to spit on it. I want to lick on it. Damn. Swallow it. So yeah, smash. What's her number? Information or inform I can't talk. Informational purposes only. It's IG though. I know a guy. You know what's IG? Frog. You freaky frog. You a freaky frog. Like I said, hypersexualized on top of exploiting kids. He and many other creators play a role in the degeneracy, but that's one of the many reasons why people have grown to hate him. This starts with Sid facing significant backlash after several friends and former associates exposed him for mistreating them. This expose started with fellow content creator Nick. Sid not even black. Bill Sid's alleged mistreatment regarding living arrangements in their shared content house. Other former friends like Call of Kid, Lil Jeff, Smooth Geo, and Arch Nemesis. Miami the kid.
did follow suit, sharing <laughs> niggas said arch nemesis. On top of that, his ex girlfriends Kenzie and Diamond Flawless accused him of being a toxic partner. Come on, bro. Stop all that sucking. You niggas don't know what side to pick on. The f if you make the whole side, you can stay on that side. That's why I ain't crossing back and forth. Ain't my shit. I'm gonna stay here. And on top of that, it's like nothing I do is okay, bro. I go to staying quiet, not saying nothing, cause I'm just I'm just letting them talk, cause I know what's up. Oh, you guilty as? Are you not responding to them? I go to apologizing, apologizing. I ain't apologizing to them. I'm not apologizing to no. That's making me trying to get canceled. That's posting shit about me that's not true. So I go to apologizing to y'all for what they said. I'm not trying to make y'all think I'm that person. I apologize to y'all. Why apologizing to us? I don't no sense, nigga. If I hit a girl and I'm and she exposed me and I'm a social media nigga and now and I think I'm some woman abuser then I apologize to the internet because I don't want to be known as an internet abuser that means that I did the crime right why the fuck if you apologize for shit you ain't do I'm saying that makes no sense the public quickly turned against Sid, with many fans unsubscribing and criticizing his actions online. As a result, King Sid's YouTube channel saw a significant drop in views and subscribers, losing over 100,000 subscribers at the height of the controversy. Prior to being exposed, Sid's videos would routinely gather around 800,000 to 1 million views or even more, but post-controversy, they now average around 60,000 to 700,000 views, a huge drop off. Despite issuing an apology and trying to move past this, Sid's reputation is taking a hit. While he continues to post content the negative reception from his fan base and the exposure of his behavior has undeniably damaged his youtube channel another thriving creator that damaged more than his youtube channel is pretty boy fredo fredo a once prominent nba 2k youtuber saw his career soar with viral gaming videos pranks and challenges especially during the nba 2k 16 17 era however his rise to fame was later overshadowed by accusations of faking videos exploiting fans and getting involved Honestly, but I think it was really fucked him over, but at the same time with him, when he came an agent, and I was just like, when he came an agent, it was like the last straw, it's like, that fake videos wasn't the worst thing, because a lot of niggas fake videos, especially in that era, but it's just the fact that when he had came an agent, bro, not so fucked up at all, it fucked everything up, but I think it's like, what are you doing, but like, the shit he was saying an agent was doing was like, he was just, Complete wrong, all that shit, the whole beef of EMP, like with all him. Like, he started and fucked up his own motion, like, did that all shit to himself, you know. Like, even picking the counts, that's him, that's his idea, but it's not, I don't know that's his bad, because, like, I think of like YouTube as like TV, so it's like, if you heard doing TVs all fake, you know, but the whole beef with the agent shit was just whack. I showed some whack ass shit in multiple online beefs. Fredo's transition from gaming content led to widespread criticism, particularly from YouTuber Agent Zero, who called out his fabricated content. Fredo's aggressive response to these critiques created more controversy as he lied about Agent Zero inciting death threats, intensifying exactly. Whack. He would later apologize to Agent, but the damage was already done. His feuds with other YouTubers, notably DDG, where personal insults and threats were exchanged. That's one thing I will say about him too, like, which I've noticed for a lot of black you, black YouTubers, like, Solomonati is one of the beef with some other YouTubers, because Solomonati really be like, I like Solomonati, but I realize as I got older, he's really a cloud chaser, that's one. And then, Fredo is always beefing with somebody, bro. DG is always beefing with somebody. That's one thing I will say about black content creators, bro. Black content creators really don't stick together for shit, like, like, AMPD, they came up together, but like, if you look at other black content creators that's like just known, a lot of them just from different states, they don't they don't content with each other, they don't collab. Like a lot of black content creators don't collab. Your favorite black content creators don't collab with other black Damn, I can't talk. Your favorite content creators are black, a lot of them don't collab together because a lot of black people got egos and this weird and shit. Like these niggas always beef on somebody, bro. Like, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always see DG or Fredo or so in the beef with somebody. They always get issue with somebody, you know? DG, like, y'all see it. Showed us a side of Fredo that made him easy to hate. Because I'm at the point right now when you use my name in video after video after video, you see this hand. I'm slapping this shit out your ass. That's it. I'm at that point. I've been told you to pull up in July. You didn't want the smoke, bro. You didn't want the fing smoke, my nigga. You capped out on everything I love. You capped out my nigga you capped out you a ass nigga on everything i love nigga you capped out no nigga i've been saying fredo been canceled my nigga you can't cancel me i got this shit out the mud 
I got it out the mud. The only nigga that can fall off by choice is me. If I choose to, if I choose to stop working, that would be the only reason. But I, I'm, I'm way too strong, my nigga. He didn't fall off, right? But at the same time, he could like he had enough money and motion to where he could like get it up. But I don't know if he can ever get back to where he used to. Be. He used to average a million people. He used to average like a million plus, two million, like a hundred k. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if he can get that back, but I feel like he could get more than what he gets now when he does post, you know? And I feel like it ought to come, I, I ought to be, damn. It also just depends on the content you make, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you like are making like David Dobrik content, fucking, what's the nigga name, Mr. Beast content? Niggas gonna watch, you know what I'm saying? No matter how weird or fake or who he beefs with or if he's a narcissist, niggas gonna watch, you know what I'm saying? Look what Mr. Beast can expose for now, niggas still watching Mr. Beast, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it all depends how good his content is at the end of the day, let's be honest. That shit is be real shit. His criticism of Fredo grew. He continued to face backlash for not only faking content, but also manipulating his closest friends. By 2023, after a year long break, Fredo returned to YouTube claiming personal growth and offered apologies for his past actions. However, his return was met with skepticism and it were very much warranted. That same year, a series of exposés from former collaborators and friends of Fredo accused Fredo of scamming and unethical controlling behavior. Fredo got exposed by so many niggas, bro. Nearly a year. While he was gone, rumors of financial struggles emerged, including allegations of lawsuits and debt casting down on his stability. Fredo I didn't even know about that. With another apology, citing battles with personal demons and family issues, but his reputation remains severely damaged in the eyes of many. Despite expressing the desire to rebuild his YouTube career with a more positive approach, the overwhelming negativity and controversy surrounding him make his path to redemption uncertain. But for Lothar God, redemption is probably out of the question. The story of Lothar God has been covered extensively on YouTube for one reason only, infamy, which he often mistakes for genuine fame and popularity. Just look at this grocery list of reasons why he's hated, all of which can be verified with a simple Google search. I don't know what this is. I don't hate the man, I find him slightly entertaining, but I know what he is at this point. Lothar God, real name Dale Wilson, has experienced a brief moment at the mountaintop before a steep decline in his online presence, mostly driven by years of toxic behavior and numerous controversies. Once boasting over 400,000 followers across Twitch and YouTube, LTG's aggressive and confrontational style, initially appealing to some in the fighting game community, or FGC, has created a sub-community of detractors, leading to his removal from various social media platforms, with the biggest being YouTube for ban evasion. His rants, blame shifting, and rage quitting following video game losses, combined with insults towards other players and arbitrary bands of viewers, contributed to the erosion of his credibility and overall viewer base. Conflicts with many respected members of the FGC and incidents like doxing his enemies or naysayers. Yeah, this thing is a boo people offline because of the game? You dumbass niggas that created Namco, you're fucking retards. Capcom, you're fucking retards, you dumbass niggas. Make it so that I can see who the fuck I am playing before I press ready on my game. I don't wanna have to play this. That if y'all play Tuki, y'all know Nidix. I thought Nidix was a fucking crash over the game. This nigga's crazy. Same niggas. Every time I cut on the game, I pay for it. LTG's problematic. I don't even know who that is. Adds to his tarnished reputation, particularly his controversial relationship with his ex-girlfriend Elena, who was allegedly a minor during the early parts of their relationship. What? Not to mention he was recently exposed for allegedly being a deadbeat father to a ten-year-old daughter and has a substantial one hundred twenty thousand dollar debt. This, along with the list I showed. Yo, how do niggas be finding this out about niggas? Like, how the fuck you find out so somebody got a fucking debt for hundred k? Who does the research on that? Yo, niggas be locked in. When you have fans, bro, you gotta make sure you gotta clean up your past. Or just don't be weird, you know what I'm saying? Just don't be weird or clean up your past for you getting on, because niggas gonna expose your ass one way or another. earlier paints a disturbing picture of his character creeping up on 40 years old ltg's future remains uncertain but his story shows the importance of integrity and no, no, who's calling him i'm racking this shit the online world but let me know what you guys think about these creators in the comments i mean it's pretty self-explanatory why a lot of these people are hated it's like yeah it makes perfect sense YouTube and uh not yeah, on youtube so, yeah, outside uh, you guys YouTube. Join the Discord, actually yeah uh, both follow me on twitter stuff like that is going to be in the description it's fargo and i'm out man why the world can't escape from P. Diddy? What kind of video was that? What the fuck is that about? What the fuck with this guy's content? I fuck with it. He just told me, shall I even know? I don't know what that last thing it was, but.
100 k in debt, like, fuck, I can't make a 100 k. How do you, how you get debt, 100 k? That's like, I don't think it's find that out. Like, you don't find that out on Google, bro. And he had our docs niggas on the game. Like, come on, that's what you do for free time. He got a well, he got a platform on YouTube. And you got our blue niggas offline because you're losing that shit. Life ain't never been that hard. It made no sense. And then talking, two of the niggas was talking to minors. The first nigga, the EDP nigga, and that nigga. You get money, like we. I, don't, I never understand how niggas who get money who talking to girls that's not legal. Like you get money, bitches want niggas with money. That's all. You don't even gotta look good. You ain't gotta talk good. You got money. Why are they talking to girls that's underage? You got money. Like, cause I know if you can talk to a minor, you'll pay for them, pay for some pum pum. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Let me know if I'm wrong or right. If you down bad to where you can talk, talk to a minor, then you can pay for some pum pum. So why not pay for the pum pum? Why not talk to them? I don't get it.